So I would like you to realize that if you don't design an ideal day, which would include meditation, centering, adding tens, saluting your beloved, prayer, going over your plan, and then pour your soul into time blocks of some sort, you're actually creating chaos actively. The spirit cannot sustain structure without an imposed structure. So the ideal day and the ideal week and the ideal year is a form of putting structure so when I, Fred, go fishing in Wanaka, or I go fishing into, uh, up in Lake Taupo area, I have to first make the dream that I'd like to do that, and then I arrange for a guide and a fishing hole and equipment and licenses and airlines and clearing my appointment book, all of which is rational structuring. And then I get there, and for three days, I fish. And I'm in what's called universal time or a form of bliss. And so then I go with the flow in the structure I've created my choice. I wanted to go fishing. I'm asking you to realize that if you don't structure your day and your week and your year and just see what happens, which is what many people do, you're responsive to other people's chaos. Almost everyone you know is in total chaos. And the two or three percent of my people who do ideal day, ideal week, including meditation, prayer, fitness, belovedness, date night, planning for the future, is all part of the ideal in blocks of time. And then you put in that block of time and say, I'm going to have a meeting with you or with my beloved to see what we want to do. And that you, then you go with the flow.